It's rumored that video game prices on the West Coast are significantly higher than what I'm used to seeing in the South or the Midwest, but are they actually? We're here at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo to find out, to talk to some vendors and see what they think of the prices regionally, and also see if we can do some bulk deals. So I'm here with Kevin from Blue Shell. What do you think that the prices out here are really higher than average at all? Seeing how I live out here and I'm not shopping anywhere else, I really sure. don't know. Okay. But I will say in California, I'm from Central California, uh -huh. the prices do seem a little bit lower than if you go to Southern California, you go to LA. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. I go to stores out, 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 there, out there all the time, and I see Chrono Trigger's 140, 150. Yeah, I was thinking that one seems kind of cheap. Uh, all right, so I did see a couple of these here that I was interested in. You've got Wario Land 3 and Wario Land for 25 a piece. Yep. Would you do those for 20 a piece? If I bought both? Sure. Appreciate only that. Only because it's you. Thanks so much. Yeah, and only because the camera's rolling, right? <laughs> All right, I'm on the hunt mostly for like um, like AAA stuff today. Do you guys, looks like we've got this one I may actually be interested in. Uh, maybe both of these. Would you do 20 a piece on these? Yeah. Okay, sweet. You got some a little bit of wiggle room on most stuff? Yeah. What's your general pricing strategy when it comes to, like, do you do conventions oh, like this very much? Yeah, this okay. is my second time here. I usually like to go a little underpriced charting, so... A little, little underpriced charting, you said? Okay. Do you feel like that's kind of the general, like, regional trend? Or do you see some places that are more expensive than others? I see other people, like, going higher just because it's like a convention. Okay, yeah, a little convention more. tax. Okay, yeah, stay competitive, I like that. How about this guy, would you go 70? 75. I'll do 75 on that. Uh, and then this guy, I believe I could be at 25. Is that fair? Was that 30 right now? Yeah. yeah. Cool. I think that probably should do it for me. Appreciate it. Yeah, for sure. Thanks. Thank All right, so folks, I'm here at the booth of Elliot from Game Tower, a video game store in Los Angeles. Give it to me straight. Are video games more expensive in California, do you think? Yes, I would definitely say so. Okay, and why do you say that? Uh, well, to start off, I'll say like sales tax is already high in California. I think we already beat uh, New York, you know, so we I believe we are the most expensive. The sales state. tax yeah, on its own yeah. is going to bump things higher. Exactly. Yeah. And that causes inflation, right? You know? Okay. So whenever you buy something, it's actually the higher price. So whatever the base price uh, right. is, it sells taxes also. You kind of would expect it as well, just because in California, for the most part, a lot of stuff's more expensive. Yeah. So you wouldn't think video games would necessarily be an exception. Yeah. Do you like ever have people coming into the store and being like, oh, it's only going for this much on price charting or eBay or yeah. whatever? And like, how do you respond to that? Yeah, so we do, we do get like a lot of uh, like price comparison to yeah. other, you know, sources out there. We do our absolute best where, you know, if someone did try to make an offer, well, you know, we'll come down with it because, you know, we get it, you know. Like, sure. But, on, you know, we, we also buy the stuff high too. So yeah, you're paying the best prices. There's certain things that we can lower the price. There's certain things we got to stay firm, you know, so it just really depends on all the items, but we do our absolute best. And does it help as well? Like if someone's buying a good amount of stuff? Yeah. Does that help with the discounts as yeah, well? Yeah, because like we, we do, you know, the bundle deal, like, you know, anywhere you go, the, the, the more you buy, the, the more the discounts you get. For sure. Awesome. Well, I appreciate the insight, man. Yeah, Thanks a bunch. Sure. Yeah, appreciate it. It's also sealed, What? Whoa, that's crazy. And this is not a common colorway either. Wow. Yeah, that is, I'm scared to even touch those. So folks, I have to say so far, I have not noticed a significant difference between this show and like other shows that I've been to. Maybe a few vendors here and there that have more of like West Coast pricing, but for the most part, pretty much everyone I've talked to has been willing to work with me. So I'm optimistic we can make some more deals. You had 200 on this guy. Does it have a charger, do you know? Yes. Would you go 170? from 200? Uh, Sounds good to me. Appreciate it, thank of you. Course. Anything else here that I, I saw the handhelds in here, I don't think that I can make a play on these ones. Would you do this for 15 instead of 18? I would, it doesn't have the manual. That's all right for this one. Okay. You guys cool if I shoot you some offers on some of these? The silver one here for 90, if that's in good shape, I could do 80. Could be in the middle, 85. <laughs> 85 is where you'd have to be. I might not be close enough on that. What about this uh, Onyx one? Is that like in good shape and everything? It's priced a little lower. Mm. I can knock five off of that. Yeah. Okay. I'll go ahead and I'll do the 75 on that one. Okay. What about uh, Mario Kart 64? Probably pass on that, but I think, uh, I think I can do this 
for five. That's a oh, yeah. solid deal. Um, and then I don't know if this is interesting to you at all. I've been paying 75 on two DSs. So any of those that you would want to sell, if they are parental lock free at that price, I could do. Tomorrow I would do that. Tomorrow, come back. Okay, yeah. yeah, that's cool. And tell me about like, do you guys have any general like pricing strategy? I've been asking people because sometimes people think that games tend to be a lot more expensive on the West Coast. Do you get the same sense at all? Or do you think it's pretty much the same? I don't know. I haven't been to many other conventions. Okay, so hard to compare. Yeah, hard to compare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for, for the most part, from what I've seen, they seem pretty comparable. I haven't noticed any huge differences. Those Superstar Sagas, if I bought both, would you do 28 a piece? Yeah, I can do From that. 32? Okay, cool. Well, I'll do those and these then. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, so folks, a couple solid little pickups there. Uh, when I'm dealing with vendors, I'm really only looking for like 20 to 30% margins or so. Um, so we got a couple copies of Superstar Saga. All of this stuff will sell super quick. 75 for that, normally we get 100 to 120 depending on the color. This is the only one that will be at least a double up. Michael Jackson The Experience for some reason goes for like 10 plus at least on Amazon. Uh, so that was a solid little margin. Right now we're heading over to my friend Cooper's booth. He actually owns a video game store not too far from here and I'm curious to talk to him about what he thinks about pricing around here. So folks, here with my new friend Cooper. Cooper, Cooper. Who's had a video game store in the area for how long now? Just over five years. Over five years. So you've been around the block a few times. We've been talking a lot today about video game pricing on the West Coast. And as someone who's been here forever, had a very successful store, do you think on average prices around here are higher than you might find in the rest of the country? I don't think that they're higher. Okay. Like you, I've been to a bunch of game stores all across the country. Yeah. Um, a lot of places in Florida. I used to live down there. I, the highest prices I've ever seen were in New York. You, okay, yes, I saw the same yeah. when I was out there. It depends on the store. Okay. It really does. But and what's your store's pricing policy like? Are you trying to more or less match price charting or eBay solds, or are you looking at your own sales? So it's a mix of all three. Okay. Um, for anything that's on the cheaper side, it's just price charting. Yeah. And we usually round down. We use okay. like specific price points. So in our store, it'll be three bucks, five bucks, eight bucks, or 10 bucks. Okay. You're not going to see a game price at $6.99 yeah. or $8.99. So for the cheaper stuff, we just round down. Cheaper stuff fills up the majority of the store. So, so most on of the time, average, it'll be a little bit under. Yeah. Okay. When it comes to the more expensive stuff, uh, we do we do still kind of go off price charting, but if it's over like 50 bucks, we check eBay sold. Sure. And then, you know, depending on condition and all that kind of stuff, it's a balance, but we do, we do try to be pretty fair. Yeah. That honestly sounds pretty similar to most of the stores that I'm in. They try to go at, or if anything, a little bit below price charting, kind of help people out. I'm honestly a little bit surprised. I would think that you might have to raise it a little bit to stay in stock given the strong collector scene around here. Yeah, it it just kind of depends on the game. Like, yeah, um, we have a ton of collectors in the Portland area, uh -huh. Portland, Portland to Seattle. And so um, it's my opinion that the number one thing a game store needs to do is have good inventory at all times. Right. And I think that we do a pretty good job because we don't just rely on our local trade-ins. We buy a lot of stuff from people that contact us through email. Yeah, you go on full road trips sometimes yeah. to get inventory. Yep. Most recently, Abby and I did a road trip from Fort Myers, Florida, all the way up to here. Yeah. We went to Retro Rick store. That's wild. Stopped at a bunch of places and we bought my friend Sam's collection. That's what most of this N64 stuff is okay, from. Okay, yeah. So, so it's like a full-time job just to stay in stock with good stuff. I'm impressed that oh yeah. you know, you're still able to keep prices reasonable. And uh, yeah, thanks for doing what you do. Yeah, thank you. I'm gonna take a look around, see if there's anything that works for my wire margins. We'll see. We would reuse the countertops that are in there for our purposes. One side would be for trade-ins, one side would be for checking out. All right, so folks, we're back at the booth of my friend Derek here. Swan's Emporium, go subscribe on YouTube, by the way. Has easily the sickest vintage heat here, which I'm still a little bit thinking about this little Pokemon gem here. You said you could theoretically be at 220. <laughs> 220, yep. 220, he said on that. But I wanted to make you some offers on this stuff down here. Okay. Just shoot you some numbers. I know I can, on the Galaxies, be at 210. That's good with me. Okay. I'm paying 130 on the uh, red XLs and one. 
140 on the blacks. Okay, so 130 on the red, 140 on the black. If you can do 150 on the black, uh -huh. I could do, do that. Okay, that works for me, appreciate it. I saw also you just picked up a red, a flame red SP. Sure did. There it is, any interest in selling that just right off the bat? Absolutely. That, this was a trade deal that he just did, folks. What would you say to 60? 60, since I don't have a charger, if you'll allow me to clean it up first, because I can't sell it to you like this. Okay, 60. 60 works for me. And then I know on these Donkey Kongs, I could be at 25 a piece. Okay, now you die. Does that work for you? That works. And then I'll, I'll keep looking around. I'm curious, the question of the day has been, do you think that on average, video game prices are higher on the West Coast at all, or is it pretty standard? Um, I have not explored the East Coast prices, but I would not be surprised based off kind of everything being more expensive on yeah. the West Coast. Well, I would say your booth is definitely a solid counterexample. Great deals all around to be had. And folks, honestly, I would say the fact that every single booth today not only has had reasonable prices, but also has been willing to negotiate with us, I think we can officially say that the West Coast pricing myth is busted.